I feel now, <coughs> ERI when it was founded had a different challenge. At that time, whatever it was, as Dr. Chandler has put it, it was a uh, challenge in applied science. Apply the science and solve the problem. And particularly applied science. But now, as 30, 40 years have uh, gone and we are coming to the 50th, uh, in the fifth decade, the national programs have become stronger. The challenges of the rice cultivation, the rice farmers, rice consumers, the whole rice community in the world have also become more and more complicated, complicated and complex. So under these circumstances, certainly our challenge is to use this real science are, are the, uh, you can say, basic or strategic uh, research. But the challenge is that we should not be going deep in strategic research and ignoring the fact that we have to solve a particular problem. Whatever strategic or basic research is needed according to institute's uh, capability or, and resources should be done either here or in collaboration with advanced countries. But our focus is to put ourselves in a situation that we solve the practical problems using those. Now how this requires a balance and how to put ourselves at that particular uh, uh, place where we can really perform the best. Because if we start working on the strategic or the basic research side, we can go, but whether we have a comparative advantage there to compete with the advanced countries, advanced labs, private sector for many of the technologies, we can't compete with them because we don't have the resources. So our, I think our strength would be if we put ourselves in a very strategic place in that whole continuum from the base, basic research, strategic research to apply it and to the downstream work so that where we can perform and still not lose sight of the fact that farmers' problems should be addressed. And that's, that's the biggest challenge I can see. And then performing that, uh, that job with the financial constraints that we are facing. That's another thing that we, we have to follow. So basically, the, in general, the challenge is that we, in general, the challenge is that we have to solve the practical problems by using the advanced science, strategic collaborations, both with national programs, and now also another factor that was not there before is uh, strong private sectors. And we have to know how to work with them. I still feel that CG Center as a whole, and even at Erie, we are not yet very clear how to work with them. To, in a way that we also get something in return from them. Of course, uh, in hybrid rice, we have been working in a way that whatever is available, we are sharing with both public and private sector. But that's just giving every time. We are not getting anything back in return from them. And the reason we can't get it because we don't have a mechanism at this stage. And, and, and so that's, that's, that's another challenge that we have to address. And uh, if we, based on my experience in hybrid rice, if we can develop models of collaboration with the private sector, I think this collaboration models, if uh, found successful would be also useful for many other seed-based technologies that uh, we are coming forward in, in, which are in the pipeline right now and where, where we can uh, make an impact five, ten years from now. So this is another area that we, ERI has to look in, in terms of uh, uh, future.